guys welcome to world of women wow for women bringing back values i am muji danisa welcome guys i am bumiji bumiji welcome hello i'm informa gift Allah to enjoy you welcome to another episode of <laughs> <laughs> informa is bringing some brightness to and all the wise we really need it it's been raining how did that affect you oh, i'm sluggish <laughs> See, you have to wake up, you have to wake up, zest up, zest up, zest up, please. Okay. We are trying to zest up, and then the rain has just not yeah. been. So, trending this past week was the painful story of a Chinese national who murdered his alleged girlfriend right in her mother's house. Mm. The audacity. Chinese. It's really the audacity. I, I, I'm Man. just, I'm just trying to imagine like, you go to, you are you a Chinese, you go to a Nigerian person's house, you mother yeah, yeah, the yeah, person. Yeah. Uh, let's talk <sighs> about this girl. Her name is Umul Kusum Buhari. I understand he, she he went stabbed, into the mother's house. Yes, she was stabbed in her own mother's house by one Mr. Geng. And See this the happened, said. this happened <laughs> in Kano. So well, from what I learned, she was maybe his alleged allegedly his girlfriend about two years ago and she got married and the marriage didn't work out and she went back to her mother's place and um, that gave the man he still stewed kept that anger going for two years and he went there pushed the mother out of the way and went into the house to stab this very young beautiful girl well then again a graduate of um, for 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 the guy to yeah. be able to walk <laughs> into their home free of charge even after she had been married and divorced yeah mother is not the way out no nobody's justifying but for one to get to that point it could that, be that something. yes it that's could something. be deeper the man might have felt that he was used and for him to be able to walk into their home and push the mother aside you see these days mothers should mm. not um, aid and abet their children <laughs> in dealing with men if you know you are not going to be married to a guy don't don't lead him on don't you don't, don't know if don't she did lead him on well, you don't know the full story well, Walking he into the mother's on room. the door, he bangs yes. on this door. That means he and had the access was to like, the house. Is there? Of course, he was. No, this man. Was this, 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 was, was this was anger. This was this was. There's an underlining. Uh -huh. it was premeditated a murder. Uh -huh. Well, premeditated murder. There's no excuse. Question for that. is this: Mother is not the way out. The, the, but the, 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 the thing is, this this man should be. Uh, how did they talk him? The ju judicial system should not even do because he's Chinese. So. You kill, you kill, you pay the fine, uh, which is jail. The uh, punishment. So full right, punishment. Yes. They should not do because he's a, he's a Chinese. No, so we are going to do uh, No, <laughs> you, they should not do that one. You okay. keep person, you, you, you do the crime, you, you take the time. I've had yes. spoken. <laughs> <laughs> so he should pay for it. That, we need justice for this girl. Yeah. Whatever happened, you have no right. No right whatsoever. Nobody has a right to take a soul. Yeah, absolutely. You did not give that life. So who, 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 how dare you go and absolutely. carry it? Absolutely. And look absolutely. at it. You see the, the, the picture of the blood everywhere. That yes. was a massacre. That's terrible. I, I refuse to see that. I'm trying I to. I, 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 it's so it's a sad story. Yeah. I, but yeah, as much before. as we are condemning the sad situation or sad story or the demise of this girl, we also need to let mothers know. Watch and look out for your daughters. Oh, Don't get involved with funny looking characters. There's nothing funny looking about anybody. Just, just let Did say, you see the picture the of the man? No body. Don't even go no down. body. <laughs> no if body. you didn't see the picture of the man, no Don't body. Yeah, good looking, bad looking. looking. I'm not talking yeah. about, look, I'm, not no about I'm not even talking about his looks as whether well, good or not. Let's take a break. It doesn't even look like someone that has. go on a break now. Nobody has the right to take anybody's life. We'll be back. Stay tuned. To be a woman. Hello.
Hello, I'm Funke Akindele Belo, and this is Amen Estate Phase 3, Selling Fast. With the development of Amen Estate Phase 1 and 2, we all can see that Red Brick Homes is consistent with the delivery of their services. This land is dry land. You don't need to fill the land. Just build your houses and move in. You can pay over a period of 6 months or 12 months. Amen Estate Phase 3, tap into it today. Welcome back on WOW and right about now we have our first woman achiever of the month. We are happy to be announcing that we shall be honoring women achievers every month on this show. <laughs> and right about now we have our first woman achiever in the house and she is um, Honorable Mulikat Adeola Akondi. You're welcome, welcome to the right. show. Honorable <laughs> 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 Mulikat is um, a mover and shaker in uh, Nigerian politics. She is uh, what we we'll call a juggernaut of the Southwest. <laughs> uh, she was an honorable member of the House of Representatives and she was also the majority leader at that time. Yeah. yeah. A politician of no mean repute. <laughs> I say that again. I'm excited to have you here. Yeah. And uh, if he has been itching and uh, she's like, oh, is this our guest today? I want to meet her. Please don't be jealous. You don't understand. It's not every time you get to meet the of someone you are mad. Oh. <laughs> it's okay, Ify. Okay, okay. Let me take a beat. <laughs> so, for the, for the benefit of those who do not know you, can we have a little insight? short insight into your foray into politics okay yeah. um thank you very much i think i'll just leave the early years i'll okay. talk <laughs> about um or you want me to talk about my life yeah okay it's a long one yeah <laughs> so uh with the coming back of uh, civil rule you know in 1999 Prior to that, a lot, a um, few political parties came up, and um, the party that really caught my fancy at that time was the PDP. Mm. You know, because the PDP w had the national okay. outlook, and um, I joined the PDP. Then I was in Lagos, and um, in Surulere, of course. And um, apart from the little politicking in school. You know, I never really gave it a thought that I would mm -hmm. go into politics and it would become what it is today. So I joined in, I just enjoyed attending meetings, you know, putting people together, assisting them and all that. But by the time the government was formed in 1999 and then I sit down in my living room and watch the members in the house and all that, I started having that feeling that you know maybe I should take a plunge. Yes, I should not a not a plunge really <laughs> that yes, I should go to the House of Representatives, you know, to represent my people in Ogumo shop. Constitutionally I should have been able to vie in Lagos because I had spent more than ten years there. But I, I knew that uh, Lagos is a cosmopolitan city. Yeah. It has uh, a lot of people that can really represent Lagos. I said, let me go back to my, to my uh, roots in Ogumosho. And I've not been far from home anyway, because my father 
would always go there during the silo breaks and everything, and I would join him from Lagos. So it wasn't new to me. So year 2000, I went to Bumo Shop. My, my uncle got another uncle, junior uncle, to take me around to introduce me to people and everything. And uh, because of the pedigree, you know, my family, I was well accepted. People were quite happy. Oh, a woman coming to join us. And I, I made it known to them that I wanted to run, you know, for the House of Representatives. This was 2000. So we started the process and all that. You know, it's a... Uh, you get baptized <laughs> in politics yeah. when you enter. Yeah. So we continued. I made sure, you know, things that were necessary, like you go for a ward meeting, I wanted them to know this is PDP, so I made flags for them, you know, oh. gave them microphones to speak, yeah. and made benches. I was always contributing. Okay. Yeah. So to that, the party. Yeah, to the yeah. party yeah. and yeah. even my own local government because... Uh, I was to represent three local governments. So whatever I did for North, I'll do for South, I'll do for the other local governments. So I was always doing that for them, very supportive. So it came to 2002, where we were going to have our primaries. That when, that's when I talked about baptism. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even know that uh, some people had already made up their mind, you know, who they wanted, yeah. you know, and I was just there. At the, on the day of the primaries, we all came out, because I knew that, like, if you are talking of qualification, capacity, mm -hmm. you know, I was better yeah. than, you know, any other person. But that didn't matter to them. They just decided that it was going to be a guy and you know, everybody. In fact, they didn't hold any primaries. It was like a charade. <laughs> they didn't hold any primaries How there. How did that make you feel? No, I just, first of you all. You didn't feel? No, first of all, I felt a bit dejected. Yeah. I felt disappointed because I thought it was going to be on merit, mm. you know. But alas, it wasn't, you know, on merit. It was just what they wanted. They wanted yeah. maybe somebody of their own who had been in their midst and all that kind of thing. But it didn't uh, discourage me. I came to Abuja, to the head office, to fight. To <laughs> I had a press conference. You know, I told them everything that happened because from, my, from where I was coming from, you know, uh, it was like, okay, state your case. Mm. Let's see what we can do about it mm. and everything. I, I fought you know, the case, I had the presentation and everything. But later, you know, even in the party, some of them were telling me, ah, you don't fight. Uh, I said, no, it's not about fight. Don't make it's a about, statement. Yes, yes, let people know. And uh, the people wanted me, mm. not the other person. Yeah. So mm. why deny them, you what know, they what they wanted and mm. all that? But it, uh, it didn't uh, reverse the case. So at the end of the day, they pleaded with me and um, I told my supporters, okay, everything is fine. Maybe next time, you know, mm. let's just, you know, some people would have gone to court, yeah. you know, but I didn't bother. I didn't even go to court. So mm. I got my supporters to work for the party because usually when you are even working for a candidate, you are working for the yeah. party because mm. it's not the name of the candidate you see on the mm. ballot paper. So the guy won. But the good thing is, um, before 2000, and, by 2006, it was very obvious that I was going to be the next yeah. person because I kept faith. I was always still attending. And you can imagine, I was traveling from Lagos oh, all the way oh, to Bumosha wow. all the time. Yeah, In fact, when I started, yes, when I started, each time I went back to Lagos, I'll fall sick, Ill, sick wow. because of malaria and all oh. that kind of thing. And then I had to be leaving my children who were oh. very young to go. But uh, by 2006, it was very obvious. Well, and then when we it. had the primaries, I got it on our post. Which, which, you know, so... <laughs> now we are looking at 2023. Mm -hmm. Let's talk about, because I was at your event where you called stakeholders to discuss this issue. Women supporting uh, each other um, in the political um, sphere. Yeah. How would you, would you say Nigerian women support each other? Because you didn't want to hear... And women pull each other down that day. They want to hear that women hate each other, don't like each other. Yeah, <laughs> I'm speaking from my own experience and, yeah. uh, of course, some other colleagues that I know. Uh, for me, since I joined um, politics or since I went to Bumosho, the women have been very supportive. Except, you know, 
uh, we're all from different backgrounds yes. and our approach to issues differ differ so you find some of them the because it's the men who have been calling the shots mm. it's the men who have been telling them do this mm. if you do it i will do this for you they've not seen a woman come out to you know but when i came out they saw that oh this is somebody we can trust this is somebody uh, we can align with mm. this is somebody over a period of time you know i went in 2000 the contest started in 2002, so they've had enough, and I was consistent, because yeah. you need to be consistent mm -hmm. in whatever you do. And also, you must be t determined, because most of the women will say, women are not supporting yes. me. They don't even have a background. They don't know what they are expected to do. Yeah. They just jump in, and they want you know, the people to follow them. It won't go, you know, as women, we will tarry and wonder what kind of character you know, is this person, where is she coming from? Well, so, and some people will also come with some airs around mm. them. I bring myself down to their level. If they are eating corn, we're eating it together. Okay. If it's just something I enjoy doing. So in my own case, the women, are not, I'm not saying 100%. So some mm. women too are there who say, Elijah, look at, she's too proud. <laughs> she's too, they're just saying it out of, yeah, you know, but you yeah. see, people will you, can't, will, you can't please everybody, yeah. but Majority, the majority have yeah. always supported me yeah. and honestly i enjoy their being around me especially yeah. the women including the youths the young ones i just carry everybody along because if you are going to contest and win any election you are going to serve the whole community even though you are from one party the moment you win you become everybody's the servant of everybody yeah. and everybody will come to you for one thing or the other so for me i hardly make those distinctions as to oh you are not but if you show me outright hatred or that mm. you don't so i just leave you because everybody cannot support you mm. so just do your best and leave the rest you know mm. so Mom, yes. I want to ask this uh, question. We'll take oh. a break. Uh, let's take a break now. <laughs> <laughs> let's give her time to rest to breathe. <laughs> <laughs> we'll take a break now. We'll be back. We're still with Honorable Mulika at uh, Adeola Akondi. We'll be back. I'm proud to be a woman. Hello. I'm Funke Akindele Bello, and this is Amen Estate Phase 3, Selling Fast. With the development of Amen Estate Phase 1 and 2, we all can see that Red Brick Homes is consistent with the delivery of their services. This land is dry land. You don't need to fill the land. Just build your houses and move in. You can pay over a period of 6 months or 12 months. Amen Estate Phase 3, tap into it today. still on wow and we're still with our woman achiever of the month wow woman achiever of the month honorable Mulika adiola akonde <laughs> she is a politician of note i'm sure you all know her <laughs> so we're so, talking about women supporting women yeah uh, we have men who support men who, who act as godfathers mm -hmm. to other men maybe for their own <laughs> yeah. for their own sinister reasons so but uh, where are the good mothers, mothers. Yeah. you yeah, know that's what people have been so they talk mm. about patriarchy mm. matriarchy 
where is matriarchy? What role does matriarchy play in all of it? Yeah. Thank you. I'm sure you know that uh, the men have dominated the political environment for a long time. Mm -hmm. Women are just coming up yeah. to it. And then if you want uh, godmothers, you have to start from mentoring. Yeah. yeah, you have to start from mentoring. And even when Nigeria went back to civilian, it was like we're just trying to find our feet because for close to 15 or 20 years, they were saying uh, nascent democracy, nascent mm -hmm. democracy, very young, even after 20 years <laughs> of not achieving anything. So if we want to get to a situation, I won't even say we want godmothers because the godmothers should not be like the godfathers. The godfathers want what is good for them. Mm. I, it's a situation where if you want to have a godmother, it should be a godmother teaching you to do the right thing. Yeah. And, you know, that would be, yes, a real godmother. But uh, right now, uh, if you are talking of godmotherism, you want to look at how many women have yeah. been very successful, how many women have, you know, Ooh. the financial yes. capacity, yes. you know, to push women forward and all that. Uh, because it's been a game of the men, they formed alliances and partnerships over the years, so. which we are just trying to build. In a whole state, you might have just one or two women who are going to maybe the Senate or uh, whatever. You can't find a businesswoman just come out and say, I want to support Mudikat, and she'll put her money there. Yeah. <laughs> Unless if maybe she's my family member or she's my very close friend who believes in me. You see, uh, the, the alliance by women would be a very difficult one. We can only rely on support of women through, you know, uh, antecedents, what you have done. If people believe in you and they've seen that, oh, this is a go-getter, this is an yeah. achiever, this is a woman we can depend on, they will rally around you, they will support you. But to the, maybe when I retire from politics, when I stop contesting election, you know, I might now be, be sit back oh, and say one. you say a godmother <laughs> because I love mentoring young ones I love mentoring women I love you know showing them the way to do things the right things to, to do, do. Yeah. yes it's yeah. it's not just about so, even playing politics it goes beyond that we yes. were talking about uh, women who form the bulk of voters yes, yes. yet women don't, don't vote, vote. Don't well vote. don't vote for each other or don't, don't vote, vote for, for women each, don't vote for each other That's well I think it's um, it's improving. Mm -hmm. It's not like 10, 20 years ago. Yeah, we have yes. Honorable Monica yes. here. Mm -hmm. It's and improving. She, it's getting she, like from what she told us, she doesn't, because she doesn't give handouts, mm -hmm. those yeah. kind of handouts during elections. Elections, yeah. One snatch oh, ballot the, box. The no, no, no. You know? Uh, I don't, uh, I've never engaged in that. Yes. Uh, if I'm winning, I'm winning. You see, the whole essence of vying for a political office is to serve you know, yes. the people. So if the people that you are fighting so much to go and serve do not really appreciate mm -hmm. you, but in this uh, Nigerian circumstance, it's not that they don't appreciate you, it's just some few people who will sit somewhere and make sure that the woman doesn't win election. Mm. The women will go out to vote, everybody, but when they are collating the results, they change mm. the results. Mm. You know, this has happened, you know, yeah. over time. And um, we can place the fault you know, on the lap of, you know, the authorities. Because that, that is uh, where we expect to get judgment or to get the right thing done. Mm -hmm. But when it happens, people say go to court. Yes, Even in court, do you, get justice? To fight. Oh, <laughs> or do you get justice <laughs> from court? You see, these things also, some men also experience it. Yeah. So I can't say it's just the women. Some men mm -hmm. also experience it. But uh, like I keep telling people, if a position is meant to be mine. Mm. If God wills it, it will happen. So people will say, okay, if God wills it, sit down there and be saying, if God wills it, yeah. don't go and fight for your rights. How do I fight for my rights? <laughs> you know, how do I fight for my rights? Is it by snatching boxes as well? Or by going to borrow money and spending on election day? You know, if, if you do that, you won't yeah. even feel happy, you yeah. know, that you are sitting in that position. Yeah. You won't feel happy. I want people to vote for me out of love out mm. of the belief you know, you know that they have in me yeah, and yeah. that is what will make you propel you to do yeah well. propel you to do so well want to do more, so. yes so 
Thank you very much. <laughs> Thank you very much for being on the show. Mm -hmm. And uh, you are a woman achiever first. of the month. First. The first. The first. Number one. The number one. Yeah. Number one. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, this we do to encourage other women yeah. and um, to support them as our only to support. Our own women supporting women. Our own <laughs> so this is um, what we have for Honorable Mulika at uh, Adela Konde in recognition for your humanitarian services and uh, commitment to nation building. Thank you. <laughs> so present it to her, please. Oh. <laughs> uh, Bumi, present it to her. <laughs> so, yes. From one woman politician <laughs> yes. to another. another. Please pass, pass, pass. Um, <laughs> one woman politician to another woman politician. To politician. Okay. We appreciate you. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> and I want you to know that we love you on WOW. Thank you so yeah. much. I wasn't expecting <laughs> this at all. Next time we are going to call you to Thank discuss you. values. Because yes. you, yeah, I know you are very particular about, about values. values. <laughs> yeah. So we'll be back Thanks same time. Coming, we'll Thank be back you. same time next week. I am Uji Danisa. I am Bumiji Bobo Gutibeji. And I am Ifoma Gift. <laughs> please don't be angry. I'm just excited. But please do not miss next week. <laughs> On wow, <laughs> make a lot of We'll see you next week. <laughs> <laughs> this is wow. Mm -hmm. Thank you for we coming.